Hi guys, today what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to insert an image into an assignment that's be set as slides. What you want to do is download the Classrooms app, the Drive app and the Slides app. I'll set some instructions on how to do that separately. Once you have them downloaded, all you want to do is open the Classrooms tab. You can see here I've got all the classes that I'm enrolled in. The one that I'm going to open is the Home Learning tab. You can see here on Home Learning, I've got all of the assignments that have been set in the stream. If I go to Classwork, I can see what assignments are due. The one I'm going to show you today, though, is the Modeling Technique Extrude Task. So you can see here the information that I've been given. So it's a modeling techniques extrude task. It's worth 13 points. If you have any questions, you can type them in the add class comment section. The instructions are read the slides, then complete the three tasks on paper. Take a picture and insert them into the slides. Once the three pictures have been inserted, then hand it in. Down at the bottom here, you can see the arrow at the bottom. If I click this, it will then open up the file that I want to use to create the image that I want to insert. So I'm going to click on Digital Pupil 01 Extrusion Home Learning and this will now open up the slides. You're going to read the instructions on the first couple of slides. Then towards the bottom you can see we've set you some tasks. You can see here I've already inserted the first two images into the task. What I'm going to show you how to do is insert this third image. This is just a previewer. I need to now open this in the Google Slides app. To do that, I'm going to click on this button at the top here, the square with the arrow. And what this will do is it will open it up and it will allow me to edit. So I can now type in here and I can actually change the text, but I don't want to do any of that. All I'm going to do is I'm going to slide to the end. I'm actually going to delete out this image, so I'm going to show you how to add an image in. So I'm going to show you how to do it twice. So I've got a blank slide. I've got the task here, and then I've got the blank slide here. What I want to do is use this plus button at the top. You can see I can now add in comment, text, or image. I want to add in an image, so I'm going to click on image. You can then click on from camera or from photo. So I've already pre-taken the photos. But if you haven't, you can then just automatically go straight to your camera. So I'm going to go to From Photos. And you can see I've got three images at the bottom here. This is Task 2, so it's my second image. And you can see that it brings in my second image. I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to drag and I'm going to move this image. It's a bit small. So I'm going to resize it using the corners. And I'm just going to center it in the middle. doesn't matter if it goes over the text. I'm going to move along to the end here and I'm going to click on slide 15 and I'm going to do exactly the same again. Click on the plus, click on image, then from photos and then I'm going to click on the third image but you can see here it's came in round the wrong way. So I'm going to drag it over to the middle and I'm going to use the, the circle at the top here and I'm just going to rotate it around 90 degrees. I can then use the handles at the side to drag and make it bigger. Google Slides is really clever. It saves everything as you do it. So I don't need to hit save. I don't need to do anything. I've got it completed here. So that's if I open that back up again, you can see if I scroll to the very end, you can see my images have saved in there. So what I want to do now is I want to go back to the Classroom tab. And this here will have saved all the changes that I've made. So when I'm happy that I've attached all my images in, all I want to do is click on Hand In. So this Hand In button here, one attachment will be submitted because I've got this one document and I've got my three images in it. And I go to Hand In. 
and there we go that's it done if you want to change it you can you can go to unsubmit and you can edit it but just to prove that they're still in there if i click on this Just take any time to load there. And I scroll to the bottom. You can see I've submitted the assignment with the three images in there. Your teacher will then mark it and will return it to you with your comments on and your mark. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. Thanks a lot. Bye.